And now the undead have stormed the Hayes Theatre in Sydney in a show called Zombie the Musical. <laughs> the title just sells itself, doesn't it? The person responsible for unleashing this appalling lapse of taste on the Harbour City is composer Laura Murphy, and we've hauled her into the studio to account for herself. Laura Murphy, welcome. Hi, thanks for having me, Michael. It's lovely to have you here. So we were talking to Tim Minchin the other day, Laura, and he said that he wasn't the kind of guy who just loves the musicals, but he appreciates that there are plenty of people who do, and I get the feeling that you're in that camp. You're in love with musical theatre. I am in love with musical theatre. It's a toxic relationship, but yeah, I'm in deep. That's what Zombie is for, actually. It's for people that either love musicals or, like Tim, love to hate musicals. Or people who like zombie movies, presumably. Totally. Which is not my usual genre, horror, like I'm a scaredy cat, but the zombie genre is so delicious and fun and almost inherently camp and comedic, so it pairs really well with music theatre. Well, you wrote The Dismissal, the musical, which is all about the dismissal of Gough Whitlam back in 1975, and that was huge. You are making real waves in the musical theatre scene. How did you learn to write songs? How did you develop this skill? Well, I grew up with uh, quite musical parents. My mum, she played Evita in Evita when it first came to Australia. And my dad is a composer, orchestrator, music supervisor behind musicals like Priscilla the Musical. So I really was uh, around it and it sort of absorbed it unintentionally. There was no hope for you then, really? There was no hope. My brother and my sister managed to not get the bug, they but escaped. I got hit with the bug massively. <laughs> we should drop their names, mum and dad. Who are oh, they? Oh, of course. Jennifer Murphy and Stephen Spud Murphy. They're a little bit of music theatre royalty, so very tough to follow. But I did, by osmosis, learn everything from watching the things that they were working on. But I always was a songwriter from when I was really little. Um, I was obsessed with music and lyrics and, you know, wrote my first song when I was four and kept writing ever since. Well, let's talk about this one, Zombie the Musical. So it starts as if it's going to be the most I love New York cliche ever. Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) <laughs> that is literally the opening number. Spoiler. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we meet a defiant young singer called Felicity who's sick of these old style musicals. Why is she so sick of all this? Well, it's set in 1999 and at that time it was all about girl power in the pop culture sense. Spice Girls, Britney, you know, Hillary Clinton, you know, women's rights and human rights. It was all about girl power. But music theatre is always a bit slow on the uptake and then especially Australian musicals and then especially amateur musicals. And this is set in a community musical theatre society. So Felicity's looking around the world thinking, you know, girl power, women rule, and yet they're stuck six years behind, still doing, you know, the Gilbert and Sullivan musicals where women wear dresses and sigh and men wear pants and do the lifting and are heroes. And she wants more. She wants a more satisfying role that she can sink her teeth into. So here's her big song performed for you here in the studio all about how all she wants is a meaty part. Wide-eyed and pretty I've been there, I've done that Look where it got me Same roles in the same format From the minute that I walk in the room They think they know my type But Wide-eyed and pretty isn't really gonna satisfy me I cannot wait to take a new direction Cause I've got more than only two dimensions They see me as just part of the scenery But I've got layers, I've got depth and flavors Yes, I've got character Stanislavski, can you hear me? It's Felicity, your buddy. Hey, how are you? Oh, what can I do? My time has come for a meaty part I know I'd eat it up But it's the same old story It's the same old song And they all taught me where I don't belong But I'll prove them wrong They'll have a change of 
with heart when they see me play a meaty part. Wide-eyed and pretty, I should be so lucky. I could be amazing, but I'm cursed with the look of an understudy. I'm never in the spotlight, cause I'm not right for the type that the playwright writes. If they flipped the script, maybe somebody like me would fit. Cause I wanna ask the heavy questions What's my intention? What's my fatal flaw? Something more than a caricature I'm sick of playing the victim Where are the nuanced women yet to be written? I wanna live in one if only for a night sink my teeth into but it's the same old story and it never ends womankind designed by the minds of men but today's the day we finally turn the page and take our place at center stage give me a shot Wow, big finish there. That's Stephanie Jones as Felicity, Natalie Abbott as Sam, Chelsea Dawson helping out, and you yourself were singing there. Yeah, I popped in this morning just to give a little (laughs) alto harmony. (laughs) Very, very nice. All I want is the meaty part. Damon Wade there, the musical director on the piano here in the studio. And, uh, yeah, so this is from Zombie the Musical by my guest Laura Murphy. Well, just when we think we're in for a reassuringly wholesome musical with a moral about a girl who gets to star an all-female musical, (laughs) it all turns out to be a grisly irony, the fact that she wants to play a meaty part. (laughs) Why? Well, yeah, the the thing that they don't realise is outside the walls of the theatre that they're rehearsing in, Sydney's in the middle of a full-blown zombie apocalypse. (laughs) So it's up to this community theatre troupe to not only save the world but try to get the show up for opening night. Yeah, and they're all trapped in the theatre. That, that's just, This is the great image. They're all trapped in the theatre. Sydney's in lockdown. There are zombies rampaging through the streets. And, of course, there's no way you can keep a theatre safe. Yes, well, totally. And they're, you know, they're sort of trapped. But the fun thing is, and especially in community theatre, the life or death stakes of putting on a show in your tech rehearsal is as life or death as the zombie apocalypse. So I don't know which one these characters care more about the fact that they may be eaten alive or the fact that it's four hours until curtain up. Good on you, Laura. Well, thank you. It's been lovely to meet you and uh, took us for the show. Thank you so much. Laura Murphy, she wrote the words and the music for Zombie the Musical. As you can hear, she can even sing and fill in when members of the cast don't show up. You can brave this experience at the Hayes Theatre in Sydney until the 6th of April 2024, as it says on the poster. It's like 42nd Street, but with zombies. You're on The Stage Show with Michael Cathcart.